Hi, welcome back to Peppy Tinkers. I was asked to do a video on weathering and I thought I would show you some of the methods that I used. I'm not saying they're the best methods. I'm not saying they're the only methods. I'm just showing what I use. And the first thing is to pick out your subject. So I'm choosing this 65 Chevelle wagon that I picked up used off eBay for a couple bucks or something like that. Um, it came in some god-awful ugly brown color and I've got most of it stripped off and I looked at this and said what do I want to do with this? How do I want to weather this? Coming from the Midwest there's going to be some rust in it probably uh, in the usual places on the maybe around the wheel wells in the back of the of the fenders like maybe in this area in this area maybe around here I'm probably going to remove a piece of trim from somewhere on the body I may end up denting a, a door or a panel somewhere also I want to keep the emblems I think I'm going to get rid of this nasty exhaust that was built in because I don't want it to have the full exhaust. I want it to have the beater kind of weathered exhaust. I'm sure there's going to be more changes that I make to this, but let's get started with some of the basics that we know first. To get rid of this on the on the bottom, see first we've got to take it apart. Come on out of there. And I've marked the exhaust so that you can easily see where it's where it is, where it goes. And I'm going to use a cutting bit in the in this Dremel. And then I'll chew up the plastic real fast and get us pretty close. Hopefully we won't have too many lines, too many places to patch. But because this is supposed to be an old beater, so what if we have a hole on the bottom? When you go to do this, please make sure you're wearing safety glasses. These little bits of plastic will fly up and they'll come at your face. Work on little sections at a time. When you have places that go through like this, don't worry about that. These are easy to fix with little strips of sheet styrene and it really doesn't even matter the thickness that you use. The old cars from the 60s like this were prone to rusting on the bottoms. The bottom pans through here, kid spills pop and whatever or window gets left down and these pans through here would rust out. 
So that's easy to fix. So all right, let's get back to this. When you're done with one side, take a file or coarse piece of sandpaper and square up the holes a little bit. This will help make it easier for the for the this will help make it easier for the patch that you want to put in. Now, what about the body? Well, the first thing to know is, is where does the rust happen on the vehicles that you're wanting to rust? So, from my area, it was usually around the wheel wells, and we're going to show you how to do that real quick. From the inside, we're going to take the Dremel tool and we're going to start thinning this out. You don't have to be too careful. You just want a bigger area than what you're actually going to use. You want to get to, let's see if we can show this here. See how the light's starting to come through? It means I've got a little bit more left to do. To thin this out a little bit more. But you can tell easily how different that area is from the original plastic. So we're going to take it down a little bit more and we're going to do the other side.
detail. You can see that real light spot just behind the fender. When the fender rusts, you want to keep it on the fender. You don't want it spreading into the door and you don't want it spreading into the wheel well. It's just in that little space in between the wheel well and right here. And you want it so it's just a little bit See how I can't press that down any? Oops, let's get that. So I can't press this down any. But right here and back, this is paper thin, and this is about perfect. And you can see there's already a couple small holes in it. And I'll show you how to make those look realistic here real soon. We're going to do some more grinding first. Before we make the bigger rust holes, I'm going to put in a couple small ones. I think um, maybe up here around the top of the thing. And all I'll do is I'll take this small drill bit and I'll make a hole. What's wrong, Tai Tai? A small hole there, and maybe another one beside it, too, just because. Because rust likes rust, they multiply like rabbits. little holes there me nah, I'll skip the doors for now normally for this next part I'll use the old tube glue because it stays wet longer and I'll just slop that on there like this get it nice and wet and I'll give it some texture. If you don't like the idea of doing this with your fingers, you can use like a uh, brass, brass or stainless steel brush. Now, hopefully you can see this, but this gives it a nice rough texture thing and once you start moving it around your fingerprints will change direction so it doesn't look so much like fingerprints and I'll do this around the, the rust holes The ones that the brushes that work best are the the toothbrush size, either stainless steel or, or brass, which of course I can't find right now. And we'll do this hole. Dab 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 change directions dab 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 Okay You don't have to do the same thing on both sides But it does give it, it does kind of equal it out. Oops. It seemed to depend on if the car was parked on the sunny side of the road or little goofy stuff that it was always hard to figure out why one side of a car was more rusty than the other side. 
maybe the sun wasn't didn't shine on that side to let it out let's see if we can center this out. show this but this has nice light texture and then you'll take your exacto knife and just kind of move it around a little bit jiggle jag it what you don't want to do is mess up too much of the shape of either the bottom or the the wheel well these areas typically kept their shape even though it was all rusted out against it around it this one doesn't have the front doesn't have a hole yet so just a couple pokey pokies it's good to have some various size tools around to change the shapes a little bit get different kind of effects this one isn't quite soft enough still yet anymore so I'm gonna put some more glue on it on both sides and that'll weaken the plastic up this one that's all right and the drill bit in here twist that around a little bit once we get a little paint and weathering on this It'll look pretty daggone good. Let's do another light thing of glue over here. I'm gonna leave that just kind of crink crinkled up like that. We're gonna push it up and that'll give it even more texture. But it'll still look very realistic just a quick double check to make sure that the yeah, okay there's no wheel well there that'll look nice and caved in and about ready to fall out If you were to remove all of this, you would have to glue in some sort of inner backing panel like what you would see on a real car. Alright, now we're going to let all that set up for a while. And then the next step is probably primering. <laughs> 